Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day seven of strength. It's amazing. We've been doing this for a week. I'm really liking it in my body. I think my legs were sore this morning from yesterday's Zoomies. Um, it was really lovely. Um, so today we're doing boat, but when you're standing upright, boat is a bit like chair. And so we're going to be working with chair, boat and some side lying today. So you're going to need a weight if you're using one, not too heavy because we'll be going, is that lateral? We'll be doing something new with our shoulders. So not the heaviest weight that you have. And then also a belt for the very end. Okay, so come stand on your mat and we shall begin. Oh, and I have Jig and Jig always wraps himself up in his blanket. So you might see the blanket moving at some stage. So cool, so standing on your mat. So we'll start without any weights and then we'll move to weights if you're choosing weights. So find your ground, feel your feet. <clears throat> you just feel and awaken your feet. How do you do that? I like lifting my heels off the floor. I'm gonna roll one foot in a circle. So I'm rolling the ball of my foot on the floor and then roll in the other direction. And then the other foot. As I'm doing this, I'm really listening to the information that I have feet. There are feet, I have feet, they're mine, they are me. I am feet. <laughs> baby toe side, big toe side, baby toe side, big toe side, baby toe side, big toe side. Nice. Bring your hands to your knees and just do gentle circles with your knees. Just check out how are my knees doing today? Slowly listening. Do your knees make noise? Is there a range of your knees that you need to protect and mind? Sit your bum down, straighten your legs. So you're just really gently warming up into your knees, listening in. Nice. So you're in the supermarket, you've got stuff in your arms and something's dropped on the floor. So you're gonna reach down and just touch the floor on the right hand side then come back up and then touch the floor on the left hand side right hand side and as I touch the right hand side my left hand comes to my knee so I use the support of the other leg as I do this now you're going to go backwards so as far back behind you touch the floor back and then as far back behind you on the left side touch the floor back up nice forward Touch the floor as far forward as you can. And then the other side, touch the floor. Come back up. So get your weight if you're using one. Um, so this is going to be a two handed movement. So it could be a heavier weight if you wanted. Let's see, so your weight is going to be tucked into your chest. Bend your knees, straighten your legs. Bend your knees, bring your elbows to your knees. Bring your weight back up to your chest and rise. So you're tucking your, your weight into your chest and then rising. I just feel that the torso is moving the weight rather than your lower back. Hmm. I don't know how to explain that, but yes. So come down and now bring the weight down to the right-hand side. Weight to your torso, stand back up. Come down, weight to the left-hand side. Weight to your chest, come back up. Nice. Right hand side, tuck it in, rise up. Left hand side, tuck it in, rising up. Now you're going to go back with your weight. So traveling down, go as far back as you can. Come back up. Left hand side, go as far back as you can. Come back up. Forward. Keeping your weight tucked in, then reaching forward. Tuck your weight in, rising up. Lowering down, reach your weight forward. Tuck your weight in, rising up. Last time. Down, weight goes forward. Tuck it in, <laughs> rising up. Nice. So drop your weight. For the moment, we're just going to focus on the chair for a second. So. Feet are hip distance apart. 
bring your arms out forward in front of you and imagine you're just about to sit on a chair and you're trying to find your chair you're like where's the chair <laughs> and then come back up check out your knees was that too deep for your knees was that deep enough see what you need if it's too deep then make the movement smaller bring it back down rising up next time we're going to pause so listen to the sensations so i'm anchoring down into my feet i have a sense of my thighs are working and they're parallel i'm drawing my navel towards my spine and my sit bones are seeking the chair behind me rise through your spine reach deeply into your arms nice Come back up, pause. Nice, we're gonna do it again. Sit your bum down, you can have your arms forward in front of you or you can have your arms up towards the ceiling. Again, listen to your knees. We're strengthening them, not hurting them, okay? Draw your navel towards your spine. Feel the deep of your sit bones seeking the chair rising up <laughs> pause nice one more time sit your bum down either bring your arms forward in front of you or bring your arms up towards the ceiling deep and down feel your feet are really strong bring your palms together bring your palms in front of your chest and then bring your left elbow over towards the right knee Come back to center, rise tall, reaching super tall through your arms, super tall through your legs. Sit your bum down, hands to the front of your chest, right elbow, left knee. Back to center, rising tall. We're gonna pause. Sit your bum down, hands to your chest, bring your left elbow across. So there's two different ways. One is that you lean on your elbow, and you feel the support of your thigh. The other is that you push with your elbow and you deepen the twist. Nice, come back to center, rising tall. And then coming down, sit your bum down, bring the left elbow, uh, right elbow across over to the left side. Again, either lean into your knee or push with your elbow, twisting deeply. Nice. Both hands to the floor, walk yourself back, downward dog, and just wiggle yourself out there. Just have a sense of easing into, stretching into, and then rest into your child's bones. Bellies on your thighs, sitting on your feet. Let your breath slow down, deepen. So the last few days we've been doing the Kung Fu Bunny, <laughs> where we're in a cat pose and we swing our foot forward so we're gonna do that now, and then we're gonna find a new way to do that same pose. So come into your cat pose. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Lean a little bit to the left and lift your right knee out to the side. Nice. Straighten your right leg and then swing your right foot forward towards your right hand. Nice, and bring your knee back to the floor. And do it again, lift your knee up, Straighten your leg, swing your leg forward. And you can use momentum so that the, the straightening of your leg has a swing to it. Nice, other side, left knee lifts, left leg straightens, left foot comes forward, back. Left knee lifts, left leg straightens, forward and back and then use momentum swing your leg forward
Nice. Rest yourself back, come into a child's pose, pause. Deepening your breath, sinking in. Nice. So come lie on your side. So I'm going to start on the left side. So lie on your left shoulder, bring both hands in front of you, straight in front of your chest, and have your knees straight in front of your hips. So in theory, we're like a fallen over cat. So we're in a cat pose, but lying on our side. And then take that left arm and just bring it underneath your head so you have something for your head, okay? And my right hand is actually going to be kind of stuck to the floor a little bit, but it has this sense of support for me, okay? Nice. So Kung Fu Bunny on the side. <laughs> Kung Fu Bunny and Fallen Over Cat. <laughs> Lift your right knee up. Straighten your right leg. And now swing your right foot towards your right hand. Come back. Knees together. Lift your knee. Straighten your leg. Swing your foot forward towards your right hand. And then come back. And just find that flow or that swing or that momentum. Maybe you lift your foot higher. Maybe you don't. Nice. Next time your foot travels over towards your right hand, pause. My foot's floating. You can rest it on the floor if you wish. <coughs> it's stronger if you float your foot. Nice. Bring both knees together. Ooh, pause. <laughs> Great. So straighten your right leg long so it reaches down towards the end of your mat. And then draw your right knee forward towards your elbow. Stretch your right leg long. So you're, as I, like my head is being lifted off my left arm because of the pull of my right leg down. And then I bend my knee and my head is pushed into my left arm. So I just feel the sense of the whole of my body is traveling down into that right leg and then it's squeezed up. Reach, squeeze, reach and feel the reach from the deep of your belly, the buttock, like this, this powerful, it's a bit like zoomies yesterday. How powerful can you reach into your leg as you lengthen? Nice. So grab your weight. Hopefully it's somewhere easy to grab. So it's not a very heavy weight, this one, because we're going sideways, not laterally. Anyways, so bend both knees so your knees are together and then pull your right elbow back with or without a weight and bring your elbow to the floor behind you and then reach forward as far forward as you can. So in the beginning, as I do this, I'm just checking out my spine, my shoulder, my arm. I'm traveling as close to the floor as I can. So that's really low to the floor, my weight. If the weight feels too much for any reason, drop the weight. Okay. So as my arm goes forward, my foot's going to go backwards. As my elbow goes back, my knee comes forward. So propellers. Really sweeping, lengthening, deepening, listening to your body. What's the range that feels wholesome for you with or without all weights, smaller or bigger movements? One more time. Nice. Come lie on your back. Pause. Notice the difference between the left and the right. Super. So come lie on your right side. Lying on your right side. Have both arms out in front of you. Have both knees out in front of you like you're a fallen over cat. <laughs> and then bring your right arm underneath your head. Your left hand is connected to the floor. Lift your left knee straight up towards the ceiling. Straighten your left leg. And then swing your left foot towards the left hand. Bring your knee back. 
So the traveling back, you can travel low, or if you travel high, it stays a little bit more intense. So if you're traveling low, you just bend your knee and your foot is back, and then you start again. So you can do a circle or you can do a rebound. Notice what directions, what ways could you create movement here? Maybe you bring your foot closer to your face. Maybe that's something that works for you. Maybe not. One more time. Next time your foot floats towards the left hand, pause there, either rest it on the floor or keep it floating. Breathe into it. Oh, I have to drop that foot. Whoa. <laughs> so I did this already today. <laughs> Bend your knees. And then lengthen that left leg long. So as you lengthen the left leg, that your head is lifted off your right arm almost. And then bend your knee, draw it up towards your elbow. Lengthen long. Can you feel that your ribs are lifted off the floor on the right side because of the pull of your left leg? And your left leg, you're connected all the way down into the toes of you. Reaching. Nice, one more time. Reaching. Cool, both knees together. Grab your weight, if you're doing a weight, if this shoulder feels like, oh no, not a weight on this side, then don't, okay? Reaching forward, pull your elbow back, bring it back towards the floor behind you. And so you're listening, you're going, what is the sense of this side of my body? Next time your elbow goes back, draw your knee forward. Next time your hand goes forward, bring your foot back. So propellers. Because we're in a different gravitational field moving our arm, it's the outside of our arm, the tricep and the back of the arm, more so than the front of the arm that's being engaged as we do this. Notice how that is. The side of the rib cage is really engaging. Nice. Drop your weight and lie on your back. Just pause. Super. So come sit on your mat all the way up. Have your mat handy. Oh, not your mat, your um, belt handy. So start by wrapping your belt around your feet, okay? And then bend your knees. You can bend your knees and then wrap your belt around your feet as you wish. So I have a sense that my mat, no, my belt is anchored by my feet. And then I'm going to sit up tall. And my belt is... Yeah, it's nice, I can pull on my belt and sit up tall. And then I'm gonna round back, like I'm gonna roll back a little bit. I'm gonna go sideways. So sitting up tall, belly comes towards your thighs, and then roll back. And I have this deep sense of like, a bit like being in a rowing boat. My hands are anchoring me as I row the boat. Nice, cool. So. Maybe lift your toes off the floor so it's only your heels. Maybe lift your feet off the floor so there's nothing on the floor. And just pause there and I'm pulling with my belt and then I'm rising through my spine. Elbows are tucked in, chest is rising. So heels can be on the floor or heels can be off the floor. Nice, drop your feet to the floor and just look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Right shoulder. And the left shoulder. Nice, lift again. So this time either have your heels on the floor, have your heels off the floor, or have your feet parallel to your knees. And I'm pulling with my hands on the belt and then I'm lifting my chest, pulling my shoulders backwards. And it's a balancing act between the weight of my torso and the weight of my legs, but my hands are really active and pulling. Engage into your feet, widen, spread your toes, 
push both baby toe sides of your feet into the into the keep calling it a mat <laughs> into the belt nice drop your feet down stretch your legs out long look over your right shoulder look over your left shoulder I really feel like you're trying to look way back behind you so that you feel your rib cage moving nice last one of these heels to the floor heels off the floor foot feet parallel to your knees or feet up towards the ceiling okay so i'm pulling on my belt i'm rising through my spine and i'm lifting my heart towards my feet i'm looking towards my toes i have a sense of lengthening so you can stay here with your belt or you can remove your belt and reach towards your feet if you wish if you're really feeling incredibly just incredibly <laughs> pointing your toes perhaps engaging your feet <laughs> nice lowering down land on the floor feet to the floor sway your knees from side to side I just feel that legs twisties legs again bum as you sway your knees from side to side, how is that in your body right now? Nice. So you can either stay in a twist or you can bring your right foot to your left knee and just draw your foot up towards you. Do that a few times maybe. You can rock from side to side with your foot on your knee. Just easing out all those muscles that we were working in the buttock. Nice other side. Bring your left foot to your knee. Squeeze it up towards you. And then just rock. Super. Feet to the floor. You can choose to bring the soles of your feet together. You can have your legs straight, knees bent, feet up towards the ceiling. And just find a way of settling the deep of you. And all it has to be is 30 seconds. So if this is the point that you run off into your day, just pause for 30 seconds. Allow your state to change. Just a moment. You'll be a better person because of it. Like using your breath. Like I have this imagination that I'm falling down through the deep escalator or elevator in the center of my chest, down into my belly. I just have this like, oh, now I'm sinking, now I'm dropping, things are slowing down. There's a sense of just connection and ease as I breathe. <clears throat> awesome. If you have time, stay there. If not, begin to move your toes, your feet. If you have time, keep breathing. If you don't have time, keep breathing. <laughs> um, so I'll see you tomorrow. How gorgeous, really lovely, really loving strength. So we enter the second week of strength tomorrow. Um, tell me how you're getting on. I'm loving it, loving it. I'm liking this peak pose and the different things that we do and that each day is totally different. It's great, nice, super, sans fun. Thank you.